Hello everyone and welcome to another episode here of How to Build Your Character. My name is Kasanis and this is episode 10C. I'm just calling them all 10 something. <laughs> we'll actually come up with the names of them afterwards. What we're basically doing now is cleaning up these characters, and this character, and uh, we've done a fair amount here. We have our control system set up so we can change the visibility on the arm, and we have kind of grouped everything here. So what we're going to add in this episode are these lines here, and you can see that I have a line going from the bending joint, in this case the knee, or in this case the elbow, out to the pole vector control. You remember this is called the pole vector control, and the pole vector was used for aiming, oops, let me get into, let me turn this off and this off, uh, and make sure this is in object mode. We were aiming, by selecting the pole vector, we aim the elbow, remember? So you can see the elbow moving there. Great, so let's hit that back to zero. We want to make sure that these lines are available so the animator, when they're animating, can see which one is which. So let's say they're, you're animating and for some reason these things get crossed. You know, if you don't have a line, you might be confused as to which one of these knees this is controlling. But with the line there, you can easily see it stretches back and it is that knee and I can move this back and forth. So that's great. We're going to be doing that with the elbow right here. I'm going to show you how to do it once. And then you guys are going to do it for the other elbow and the knees. So you need it for anywhere you have a pull vector. We have pull vectors on all the IK, all, all the IK chains, which is both arms and both knees. Okay? It's actually pretty simple to do. We're going to use a few new tools here. The first thing you're going to do is make sure, well you don't have to make sure you actually have anything. Go up to create and under the create you're going to go to either, we're doing a, a linear curve so you can either pick CV uh, or endpoint curve, it doesn't really matter which one you pick. Uh, I'll just pick CV for now. Oops, uh, sorry, go create and make sure you hit this little box. It'll bring up the tool settings and make sure in the tool settings you have it set to a one, like a linear uh, curve, a one degree curve. And that's going to allow you to build two points. And that's all we actually need to build this line is two points. That's the least number of points you need to build any line actually. So what we want to do is we want to attach uh, using our snap tool. Remember the snap tool up here, the magnet with a dot, that'll snap to a point. We want to attach the first point to the elbow. And you just go in here and you click in the middle of the elbow. And did that go where it should have gone? I hope it did. Uh, I don't actually see it. Do I have it turned on? Yep. Okay, the next point, as long as this works okay, you want to attach it to, hopefully it ended up right there and nowhere else, you want to attach it to the curve over here. Boom. Perfect. Perfect. That's exactly what we wanted. So it goes, stretches from the elbow, you can see, out to this joint. And we don't actually want it to be in that joint right now. We actually want it to be in the, uh, the middle of this. So what we're going to do, very easily, we're going to turn this off. We're going to select the endpoint of this curve. So I'm going to hold my right mouse button down and I'm going to say control vertices and I'm going to select this point here. And I am then going to go to, under animation, I'm going to go to uh, deformer, create deformer, and I'm going to find cluster right here. And I'm going to say cluster. And all that basically does is takes that point and gives us kind of a, a central a central point in order to put this cluster on. Now, with the cluster selected, bam, come on, select the cluster. It actually kind of gets hard to select once you're in this mode. Come on, cluster. Not you either. Come on, cluster. There we go. With the cluster selected and the snap to point on, bam, I'm just going to move this, actually no, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do that because that's just going to mess things up. What I am going to do is I'm going to select my cluster. First I'm going to select the, the, the control, my PV control. Then I'm going to select my cluster. Uh, come on, get it, which I got it, perfect. Make sure this is turned off. And what I'm going to do is under animation, I'm going to say uh, constrain. And I want to point constrain this. So go point, go to the little box. Make sure that maintain offset is turned off, and you're going to say add, bam. And that's going to cause it to jump down into the middle, which is exactly where we want it. And now, if I move this guy here, because it's point constrained, if I move him, that thing follows along with it. So that's exactly what we're looking to do. Now, we have to do the same thing with the elbow. And here's what we're going to do. We're going to, again, let's, let's, turn off our, let's turn off our skin so we're not selecting everything. That is our left arm gone. Okay. We are going to go in here. We are going to select our line again. 
We are, you know what we're going to do? We're going to rename it right away. Let's see what we call the other one. You guys want to name it exactly the same way I did. Uh, PV curve arm. So we're going to call this one here. PV underscore curve underscore arm underscore left. Bam. So make sure you guys rename that line. Uh, you could, if you wanted to, rename the clusters if you'd like as well. I don't think I did earlier. Let me see if I did. I did not. You, you can rename these if you want to. It'll make them easier to find later on and easier to identify within your outliner because if we take a look at my outliner, let me just open it up here. If we take a look at the outliner, we have this cluster and we have a whole bunch of other clusters in here somewhere. Let me see, where'd I put them? Where'd I put my clusters? They already might be grouped. Oh, they're already actually already grouped right here. That's what we're going to do in a second. Okay. So, um, what you're going to do is you're going to select this curve now that it's been renamed appropriately. Select your curve. Once again, hold down the right mouse button and say control vertice. You're going to see the point in the center of that thing pop up and you're going to select it. Bam. And once you've done so, you're going to go up to create deformers and say cluster and that's going to give you a new cluster. Perfect. Let's open up our outliner so we can actually select our master. Uh, and our master is going to be the uh, the IK. Let me see if I can grab it here. The IK spine, 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 clavicle, FK. We want the IK elbow, IK elbow joint. So select your IK elbow joint, and then come and turn this off so I can see it better. Come in here, and you're going to shift select the cluster if I can get it. Oh, I missed. Control Z. Don't make this. So actually, you know what? We already know it's called cluster 10, so we can actually go right into our outliner if we want to make this easy on ourselves. It's the latest cluster we created, and it's called cluster 10. You can control click it in here. Same thing. So we've selected our our IK elbow and our cluster, and I'm going to say constrain point. And now, once again, wherever I move the elbow, whenever I move it that line, oops, sorry, this one here, this line is going to follow. That's exactly what we want. That's our lines all named properly. Now, if we take a look at my outliner one more time, let me bring it up. Uh, I had already created, and I'm going to actually undo it, so I'm just going to yank all this stuff out. Let's pull it out so we can redo it together and delete that group. Delete. Um, what? Oh, I put it in the wrong spot. Let's put these out again. Let me drag these down. I don't want them underneath anything. I want them just kind of floating on their own. Not like that. Okay, floating on their own. Get rid of this. You guys don't have that yet. Okay, so this is the state you guys are going to be in once you've finished uh, building all of your arm, all of your different uh, lines and all your cluster points. You're going to have a list of, cl of clusters and a list of, li of curves. I want you to select all the clusters uh, where are the rest of my new clusters I just built? Down here. And all the curves, you're going to select everything. So I've got everything selected. And I'm going to say Edit Group. And that's going to put them all together under one listing right here. And I'm going to change the name of this group to um, uh, Pull Vector underscore Curves underscore Group. I think I called it wires before. It doesn't really matter what you call it. Uh, PV curves, I, I'll call it wires just to make sure I know what I'm talking about. Wires. Perfect. With that complete, once you guys have done it all, you can uh, move around these uh, controls and you'll easily be able to identify them whenever you move them around. Okay, everybody, so that is how you create those guide wires. I hope you guys enjoyed this part of the episode. My name is Kasanis. If you did, let me know by giving me, giving me a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe if you enjoyed it too because I do a lot of videos, I think a lot of helpful videos for those who are trying to learn Maya. I also do a ton of animation and I do some Minecraft gameplay and other gameplay as well so make sure you subscribe. If you have any questions at all, let me know down in the comments and I will do my absolute best to get back to you and answer any questions you might have. Okay everyone, have yourselves a great day.